Hey guys, I have just arrived at my campsite for tonight. I am at Highlands Hammock State Park. I am in the Wilderness Loop. It's their primitive tenting area and it's, it's kind of out away from everything else in the park, but I love it. This, this is a really nice site. It has all of these old oak trees. I just love the shapes of these branches. This one I'm a little close to the camper, but I think it'll be all right. <laughs> Lots of privacy in the back. There is a road back there, but it's far enough not to feel like you don't have privacy. That's the road there that you come in on. See the, the darker orangish colored soil? That's the road that you come in on. And I have a long drive to back up into this site. Nice fire ring, picnic table, more privacy on all sides of me. I just love it. Again, out toward the road. Let me give you another view. Each site has a trash can. And there you go. Now, if I need more sun on my solar panels, I can pull up to this area here. Midday, it's gonna get full sun. And right now, it's getting dappled light. It's late in the afternoon. So yeah, I'm excited about this site. Tomorrow, I'm gonna get out and explore the rest of the park and I will bring you guys along with me. Wow, he's a big boy. Or girl, I don't know which. Oh my gosh. I know he must hear me. Oh, he's eating. Check him out. He's cool. It's a gopher tortoise. How awesome is that? You do get traffic noise at this site. It was quiet from about 11 p.m. till 5 this morning. <laughs> but man, you get a nice sunrise. Well, I got out early and I'm going to do some hiking. Now at this park, there's a loop. I think it's a three mile loop. I'm probably gonna just walk the loop a little bit to get to each of the trailheads. There's a bunch of trailheads all along this loop. None of the trails are that long. I don't think there's any more than three quarter mile. But by the time you do them all, that's a good day of hiking. <laughs> Ooh, I hope the mosquitoes aren't bad. It's shady in here. This is the Cypress Swamp Trail. And it has a catwalk, but the catwalk has been damaged and is closed now. And it, it would, I would have loved to have been able to do that. It's a, very cool because it's just this, these narrow planks with one hand, handrail on one side 
that you can walk across the swamp right down there at swamp level <laughs> but I guess I can hike this to where that starts and that's it for now until they get the repairs done on that So here's where the boardwalk ends and the catwalk begins. And you can see that's what you would walk along. It's actually a little higher. I bet at times the water's up a little more. The boardwalk is a little higher than I thought above the water. How pretty is that? I was hoping to see Gator. <laughs> I'm sure they're here. They're probably waiting for the sun to come out. Gators like to come out in the morning, get up on the banks where the sun is shining and warm up. <laughs> so, that's probably why we're not seeing any back here because it is chilly. <laughs> Ooh, I think it was 59 this morning when I left the campsite. But it's supposed to get up to about 85 today, I think. Okay, I should be coming up on the Sweet Gum Trail. Looks like that is what that sign says. Yep, Sweet Gum to Ancient Hammock Trail. Looks like it's gonna be a nice walk in the woods. I stopped to take a picture of that flower back there. <laughs> And a horsefly immediately landed on my arm and bit me. <laughs> Those things are a lot worse than mosquitoes. <laughs> this trail, rather than being full of cypress, is on a little higher ground. So what we're seeing are lots of cabbage palms and oaks. And of course, some sweet gum. <laughs> That's a wild coffee. I don't know what this is. This would be a great trail to come out with my guidebooks. <laughs> All right, we are coming up on the ancient hammock trail off of the sweet gum trail. Now this is just a loop. Lots of fern. 
beauty berry. You can see they're just starting to get some new leaf growth. Another edible. Some people make jams with those. I've done so with some I have growing at the house and they're not that tasty, but they're not bad either. Wow, now this is what they mean by ancient. Look at the size of that oak tree. And all the air plants just growing along it. I hear a woodpecker. <laughs> Here's another one. It's crazy. You can't hardly stop along here. The mosquitoes are getting pretty bad. But uh, the squirrels keep startling me. <laughs> wow. I love this trail though. Boy, those coral beans really stand out there, the red flowers in the distance. It's pretty. All right, I am back at the road. <laughs> I'm gonna need to look at my map. <laughs> All right, so I guess the ancient hammock trail must come out here to this parking area. Now, there's parking at all the trailheads. I'm leaving my Jeep because it's sitting in the sun right now and gathering solar energy. So where I took a turn there to go across that boardwalk that you just saw, that is the trail that leads back to the road from the, the ancient hammock trail. If I had gone the other way, it would have completed that loop and I would have ended up back on the Sweet Gum Trail. But I did this because it's taken me a little closer to the next trailhead down the road. That was a lot further than I expected, but I'm pretty sure I'm coming up on a trailhead now. Fern Garden Trail. Right. Looks like this is another loop, but I think it connects to another trail. Heading to my right. Ferns love the moist conditions through here, and you can see it is definitely lower in this area than in the hammock that I was just hiking in. That's what's cool about this park is you can see all different types of terrain that you would find in different areas of Florida, all right here in the same park. All right, so the Fern Garden Trail continues that way. And then there's the Hickory Trail, which is that way. I think I'm gonna complete the Fern Garden, then come back and take the Hickory Trail. Now I see why they call it the Fern Garden Trail.
Okay, so on their map, it shows that this is the, this loop here is the Fern Garden Trail. And I've walked over and I have passed this Hickory Trail connect, connector right here. And now I've come to the entrance here to the Richard Lieber Trail, which looks like a loop itself. I think I'm going to take the Richard Lieber Trail over to the road here to get myself closer to both the Hickory Trail, which I can take this main portion of the Hickory Trail, or I can go this direction and do this loop here, and that's the Young Hammock Trail and the Pine Hammock Trail out, which gets me closer to my car, which is right there. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So now I'm joining the Richard Lieber trail. And there's just as many fern along this trail. <laughs> The canopy is not quite as thick in here. Oh my gosh, look at that thing. Something happened to it though. <laughs> wow. All right, here's the road. Now I'm going to walk over to the Pine Hammock and Young Hammock Trail. All right. So this is the Young Hammock Trail. It's going to be a nice shady walk again. A lot more pine here. <laughs> We're seeing more grasses and pine. So as I walk, it seems the ground is getting a little higher. All right, now we are connecting to the Pine Hammock Trail. If I go this direction on the Pine Hammock Trail, it should lead me back out to the road. And you can definitely see a difference now in the landscape. It is not swampy at all. <laughs> I love armadillo. That was pretty cool. <laughs> I wonder what other kind of wildlife I'll see in here. <laughs> I certainly don't have to worry about gators. back at the road. So I am going to walk back toward my Jeep. 
Let's see what else I can get into. All of these have been really easy hikes so far. But beautiful. Temperatures are perfect. I'm really enjoying this. This loop road has a bike path along the side of it. And so it's so pretty through here that it just makes a nice bike ride. And there have been a lot of bicyclists. And if you don't mind the walk, it's nice just to do what I'm doing and walk it. came over to the picnic area to park because there's restrooms here and my Jeep is still in the sun and I can catch a couple other trails right from this picnic area. I'll just have to be do them kind of in reverse of end up coming out back on that road walking up the road back here. Here's a look at their picnic area. It goes pretty far back up in there and there's a little playground, some covered pavilions. It's nice. Clean restrooms. <laughs> there's a CCC museum over there near my Jeep. And then right over here is a camp store, Hammock Inn. Camp store. Nice little camp store. Well thought out. They pretty much have everything you might forget at home and then some snacks. <laughs> They do offer tram tours here. Also, you can rent bicycles and cornhole games. Believe it or not, I've never played that. It looks fun. <laughs> but I'm gonna catch the Wild Orange Trail now and connect to another trail. I can't remember the name of it right now. And then walk my way back here along the road. I'm not super sure what to expect from this trail other than I expect to see some wild oranges. <laughs> we'll see.
This trail is a little damp in spots. It's definitely one to watch for snakes on. Uh, <laughs> the mosquitoes are back. <laughs> it's a beautiful trail though. I haven't seen any wild oranges, but you know, truthfully, <laughs> Without fruit on them, I don't think I could identify them. Ooh, a bird just went by. I don't think there's a bad trail in this park. I'm coming to the end of that trail and now I'm gonna cross the street to the Alexander Bear Big Oak Trail and I think this is gonna be the last trail I do today oh my gosh look at that All right, let me give you some perspective on just how big this is. Wow. This is interesting. Somebody filled this in. It must have been hollow up in there. And so they filled it in with concrete bricks but look at how this just extends all the way <laughs> back here it was obviously rooted to some rocks so the big oak trail connects to the hickory trail otherwise it would be an out and back so I'm just going to loop around onto the Hickory Trail, and that is my last trail. All right. Oh, wow. It's another catwalk. I hope this one's open and doesn't close. Well, at least I know how to get back. This is pretty cool, though. An unexpected surprise. The boards are a little loose filling, <laughs> but no, this is cool. This is nice. Looks like it's coming to an end, the catwalk anyway. Gosh, I almost didn't do this trail. I definitely recommend this hickory trail. Spider web is guarding the entrance. If you want to see what Florida looked like before development, come to this park. It looks like I'm coming back out onto the road.
All right, I'm headed back to camp now. I stopped in at the gift shop again and I got myself some peach pecan preserves. It sounds delicious. <laughs> I also got a sticker. There are 16 campsites in this wilderness loop. These are all kind of close together. But it would be great if you were camping with friends. Site five, six and seven. There is a privy right about the middle of the camping area here. You see the roof of it over here. I'm not very good at driving and showing sights at the same time, am I? This is a nice area here. That's site nine. smaller but they're kind of tucked up in there there's 13 14 doesn't seem to have much in the way of picnic table or fire pit Fifteen, right here. Mine's next. Mine's really tucked up inside those trees there. And I love it. It's a great sight. I've got everything opened up now letting all that heat escape that was trapped in the Jeep. I am getting a head start on dinner and doing some prep ahead of time. Then that'll be done and I can relax before I start cooking later. So I am going to be making stuffed bell peppers over the campfire. So I'm just getting all the things that are going inside it prepped and ready to stuff them. It's going to be mushroom, tomato, celery, onion, parsley, walnuts, and spices. I'm also going to be adding some rice that I prepared ahead of time olive oil and tamari. I'm just chopping up the walnuts. There we go. One thing that's nice about these shorter camping trips is that I can bring things pre-cooked. So having the rice pre-cooked and I have some lentils that I'm gonna cook up with, the, with this meal that are also pre-cooked, I just have to warm them up. Makes it so much quicker and easier and less cleanup. So 
So when I'm doing short trips like this, you see me make a little more elaborate meals than when I'm doing long trips for that reason. I'm not gonna add too much rice, but here's what the mix looks like before adding the rice. The mushroom and the tomato are gonna produce some juice. I'm hoping that'll just be absorbed by some of this rice. It'll also help soften that rice up a little bit, which got a little firm in the fridge. And here's it with the rice. Those will go inside the bell pepper. I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut it, stuff it, and wrap it with some tin foil. <laughs> The top little core came out. <laughs> That's all right. Oh, probably should put the shiny side in. Let it cook a little hotter. That one's ready for the campfire later. <laughs> now I gotta do the other one. So now, when I'm ready to get a fire going over there, I won't have nearly as much work to do. <laughs> it might be a little soon. But I got the peppers in there, away from the flame a little bit. And as that breaks down into just hot coals, I'll move them closer and I just keep spinning them. I'm frying up a little cornbread batter as well. The cornbread was too dry, the batter, and so it is crumbling on me, but that's all right. I'll eat it. <laughs> I am just heating up my lentils. This is almost done, guys. That is hot. But it looks like it cooked perfectly. It split just a little bit. That's all right. Oh, I can barely touch it. Oh. It's cooked in the center. <laughs> Boy, that fire burned hot because it's a little windy out here. <laughs> well, it's not much to look at. <laughs> it all just kind of fell apart as I was trying to get it on the plate. There's cornbread under there, lentils, and the stuffed pepper. <laughs> I'm looking forward to eating it. Um, I'm losing my shade, so I may have to move inside. But I'm going to try this. It's good. I wish I had added a little more tamari. But <sighs> something about cooking on a campfire. I just, I love it. There's something primal about it. <laughs> I don't know. I like it. So anything I cook on a campfire, I think tastes good. Good morning. <laughs> I'm packed up and I'm getting ready to leave here. I love this park. 
I am coming back to this park often, I think, if I can get this site, because I love this campsite. I just, I want to give myself time to just hang out more here at the site. I've got a little, poor, little bit of the trail still I can do. I didn't do every trail here, although I did almost all of them. And then because some of them were loops and they connected to other trails, some of the, the other half of the loops I ended up missing. So yeah, there's lots to see here still. And uh, I never did go over to the uh, CCC Museum. I mean, every park I go to here in Florida seems to have one. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, there's plenty for me to come back and do and give myself time to relax more. I'd like to bring Kevin. Kevin would enjoy it because there's lots of birds. And I think I'm gonna get out on that, that Cypress Swamp Trail a little bit later in the day where the gators might be out more and the mosquitoes won't be so bad. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I enjoyed this place. I'm headed back to the house and I will see you guys in the next video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and join me next time. Bye guys.